How's it going, everybody? So I wanted to pick up a video here today. These are the f a few games I've gotten over the... One just actually came, like, ten minutes ago. And three I picked up. <clears throat> Two over uh, on Saturday and one last week. Uh, here are the four. I'll start off with the uh, three. These, these three came from GameStop. The first one is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. For the PS2, <clears throat> this is five and change. I was happy to find it. I was gonna just buy it offline, but I was happy to find it in a GameStop. <clears throat> it's the greatest hits version. It's the greatest hits case, but it's the uh, regular disc. <clears throat> I kind of like having a few. Like I have The Simpsons as a player's choice, and I got uh, Ratchet and Clank as a greatest hit. I kind of like having a few greatest hits in the collection. It adds a little. Uh, little spice, <laughs> spices up the collection a little bit. That's that one. Now these two I got on Saturday from a different GameStop. They were six fifty for the both and they're three bucks a piece. So a Beautiful Joe and Beautiful Joe 2. <clears throat> now I played a demo for this one. I had like a demo disc for a GameCube. It had this on it. I think a Sonic game, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg or something it was called. And uh, something else on there too, maybe a Metal Arms glitch in the system one, which is a game I gotta pick up. I played that game on the Xbox, it was so awesome. But I only played the demo of this, and I always liked it, but I never bought it for whatever reason. And I uh, saw so them both in there for three bucks a piece. I'll put a gameplay up of this one. I'm playing the first level, and I, I, I played it like four times already. I can't get past the helicopter. This is a hard game. <clears throat> and. Uh, I think you have to like get past, like you save it later in a level, it doesn't matter, you're going back to the beginning of the level when you load it up. So I have to get past that thing, I assume that's the end of the level, but it's still such a cool game, it looks great, it's a cool art style. The combats, the, the fighting is really fun and stuff, it's got a real good look to it. I have not played this one yet, but yeah, I'll probably definitely put up a gameplay of this. Very happy to get these two games actually, I, I was just like thinking about what I wanted. I was like, I really want Beautiful Joe, and then I saw there was the second one as well. I was like, you know what, I'll grab that one too. They had them both. So, those are good ones. <laughs> and the final one here is, uh, this is from eBay. This is one I'm really happy to uh, pick up. This is one I wanted to get. From, uh, I don't think it's going to have the manual. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think it's going to. This is what I wanted to get from uh, GameStop. It only had a disc, but it was in that giant bin of discs. And they're like, oh, it's in there. I was like, yeah, I'm not searching through a thousand discs. But I found it on eBay for $7.36 with shipping. But it's the X-Files Resistor Serve. This is a game I've wanted for a while. Oh, look at that. It has the manual. That is a serious bonus. Because I didn't know. It didn't say it in the description. And I looked at some of their other listings. And uh, like someone would say complete. And this one didn't say complete, so I was like, you know what, I don't care. I have the case and the disc. That's all that matters to me, you know. But I, I want to get manuals if I can, but if I don't, whatever. You know, it, it doesn't make sense to get it if it doesn't have the case, I guess. Unless the price is really awesome. Because then what's the point of putting it on the shelf? I can't put it on the shelf because it doesn't have a case. But the one that I was going to get, was only 3 bucks in GameStop, but like I said, I couldn't find it. And I think, I guess someone must have found it at some point because I remember looking later on on their website to see if it was still in that. Uh, GameStop, but it wasn't. But very happy to have this. I, I've heard it's a pretty good game. Not incredible, but it's like a survival horror game, which I forgot about. I was talking about survival horror games that I wanted to get. But it has the original cast in there, which is cool. <clears throat> it's supposed to just be like, I think a couple of the guys from the show wrote it. Yeah, it says it right here on the back. <coughs> but really, really, I need, like I said, I need to get a PS2. That's the next thing I gotta focus on. Get a PS2 and a memory card because I got a lot of games I really want to play for uh, the system here. Very happy to have this though, and especially that price for 736 is good because you can't find it in the GameStops, at least any ones that are within 100 miles of me, according to the website. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be creepy too. I was reading some reviews on it. You got like the sixes and the sevens, which is good enough for me. <clears throat> as long as the atmosphere is good and the voice acting is good, and it's, it's a good story. As long as, you know, I can deal with mediocre action. I've, I've played survival horror games for a long time, so I'm used to uh, 
some shitty action. <clears throat> but very happy to have this. Very happy to have this one in the collection. It's cool it's got the book in there too. <clears throat> This is an RIP. <clears throat> Definitely cool. I think you play those different storylines. One is Mulder, one is Scully. So it looks like there's some re replay value in there as well. <clears throat> Definitely cool. Happy to have that one. Happy to have all those games. It's kind of weird. I was thinking about this the other day. I do a little rambling here for a minute. I was playing Yakuza 3. I put the gameplay up. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll keep playing this, try to finish it. I didn't even care. I just. Stop playing it. The only thing I've been using my PS3 for recently is Netflix and watching Simpsons DVDs. <clears throat> I, I, it's crazy. I have like almost no interest in playing newer games right now. It's so weird because I'm so into the newer consoles. Well, not because they're newer now, but this generation of consoles, you know, that that I, I was like, oh wow, this is weird. I don't even care. There's a few older games I want. Like I forgot. I completely forgot about Condemned and Condemned Do for a survival horror game, especially the first Condemned. That's an awesome game. I had it twice. I need to pick it up again. It's only like five bucks. <clears throat> so, Sinestastic also put up a video on Lost Planet. I need to pick that up again, too. I was watching it. I had it originally, you know, when I got the P uh, the Xbox again last year. Or I guess it was 2010. The end of 2010. And it's like three bucks. But I got bored of it. The environments were kind of bland and boring. I didn't play. I played like four levels. I need to pick that one up again, though. It's nice and cheap. Give it another shot, you know, with games like that, even if you end up not being into it again, it doesn't matter. It's like no harm, no foul, three dollars, whatever. <clears throat> and that's what I've been doing. I've been picking up, like, I, I've, I'm on such a kick of getting games for last generation, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. I, that's all I'm interested in right now. It's crazy. And I'm like, you know, it's like, kind of like, I don't know, it's not like stupid to say, but I'm really like proud of the games I've picked up so far. Like, I'm happy with it. It's like the happiest I've been with any collection of games I've had since I've been putting videos on YouTube and even before that. I did like my PS3 collection, but you know, I would have ended up selling a decent amount of those anyway. This one's great. You know, I have some, I guess I don't want to say rare, but a little more valuable titles, but a lot of these games are kind of cheap now. The ones I want, like Devil May Cry, I want to pick up, Blood Omen 2. You know, these games are like two, three bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong at this point. And I just, I have a kick. I'm playing Beautiful Joe. I'm throwing The Simpsons hit and running there. I'm playing that. The Resident Evil's like, I'm having such a, a good time playing these older games, some of which I played back then, and some of which I never got a chance to play, so I'm real happy with that. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's kind of weird, you know. There's nothing, there's a couple games I want for the PS3, but I'm in no rush to get them. I'm just going to let these games continue to drop in price while I pick up the older ones and have a good time playing those. I mean, I still have to come, <laughs> I still have two chapters. I think it's the second to last chapter on Uncharted. I've been at that point for like two months. I don't even care. Like, I don't even want to play it. Yakuza 3, I put it in, put a gameplay up, and then I have no interest to continue playing it. Even Ratchet and Clank, I got I played like six hours of that, and I just put it back down. You know, it's, I think after playing all that Skyrim, like, I almost got <laughs> burnt out on um, the PS3. But like, I'll get back into it, I know that. But for now, you know what? I'm going to keep going with the older games because I'm enjoying getting them, and it's, it's adding to this collection. You know, I, mean, I think I put up that video. And the collection was like here. And now, you know, add those into the mix and it's already down to like there, you know. It's so great to be able to pick up games for like $5 and under. I actually ordered another one off of Best Buy last night. That was eight and change. And I'm waiting for another one from Glide, which was under six. So, I mean, I'm able to get these games for so cheap. I gotta keep, you know, I gotta keep doing it. It's great. And I can't wait. I need to get the PS2 because when I get that, I mean, there's so many of those games now that <laughs> it's gonna take up you know, months of my time to play. So I'm really happy about that. I'm happy with the way the collection's going. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show those pickups. Really excited to get the X Files. I'm really excited to, to be able to get that one. And uh, the other games as well, too. Code Veronica was a game I played on the Dreamcast and never completed. I got up to the part where Steve Burnside had mutated into the creature. But I had like no ammunition, so I, I never ended up going back to a previous save, which ended up selling it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show those pickups, a little bit of rambling there as well, and uh, thanks everyone for checking it out, and have a good day.